Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, and today we're going to talk about retaining walls for your landscape. So if you live someplace like Southern California or other parts of America where it's just hilly, you're going to need a retaining wall to flatten out some areas and create a landscape. And this is what uh, the great thing about a retaining wall. It can serve many different purposes in your landscape as far as helping you reach your goals for what you want in a landscape. For example, you can use them for pathways to get from A to B. You can also use them to create these wonderful patios out of areas that are previously just too hilly to utilize, both up a hill or down a hill as well. Of course, you can use them for terraces thing which is what you know retaining walls have been used for thousands of years to terrace it for fruit trees or vegetables or rose gardens so retaining walls are great for that purpose as well but it's also important to realize that there's lots of different kinds of retaining walls and we're going to kind of look at some of the major types as we go through this video for example you can use something like rock retaining walls so really the original retaining wall concept to flatten out an area and give you some backyard fun space and finally another purpose of retaining walls is it flattens an area and then you add a fence on top to give some enclosure to the ground um, below from that particular yard. So let's look at two different kinds of primary retaining walls. The first one is CMU block and we're going to look at those construction techniques and the other kind. Uh, the other one of course are the keystone walls which you've seen in previous videos that I've done. So keystone wall units and let's talk about that for a little bit. Keystone walls are build up of individual block pieces that fit together to make the wall unit itself. The great thing about Keystone is it comes in lots of colors and different Keystone units are rated for different heights. For example, this particular one is called Country Manor Keystone. And one of the nice things about Country Manor Keystone is that it pins together and it's really a good material to build retaining walls up to about six feet because you have the pins. Now notice also that there are holes in every other block for the rebar reinforcement. So for example, if this wall was going above three feet, it would need to have a rebar reinforcement. And then once the guys have pinned it together, then they, as you can see, put an epoxy in to really give a really nice tight seal to it. And again, keystone walls are really wonderful for small scale retaining walls, as you see in there. Again, this particular product is called Country Manor Keystone. You can build keystone walls of much higher capacity. Um, typically, I don't go above six feet with a keystone wall, uh, especially for residential areas. But like you see here, this wall was about four and a half to five feet, depending on which level we were building, because we were trying to scrape the hill. Now, this particular one is a different kind of keystone called the Belgard unit. So Belgard is works the same way in that they pin together epoxy and and then um, they are eventually epoxied with the top count. But they're primarily a gravity keystone wall, really wonderful for walls under six feet tall. The other kind of keystone, I'm sorry, the other kind of retaining wall that is very common here in Southern California are the CMU block units. Now, CMU strands for concrete masonry unit. These are precast concrete units, but because they're precast, they give you a lot of flexibility as well. They're very easy to cut. So if you're doing a curvy wall like this one, what we did, um, they are really great for that purpose because you can cut them and then stucco coat over them to get this wonderfully curvy wall. This is doable with a keystone but tricky because keystone is not as easy to cut cleanly as a concrete block wall is so again before worthless slope afterwards we are building up a keystone wall to terrace this slope for a future rose garden as you can see there we actually added a brick facade the other great thing about keystone is that you i'm rather our concrete masonry units is that you can put all kinds of interesting facades on the top of it and over time it really adds some wonderful character to it here's that same wall 13 years later and now the rose garden of course is filled in one Wonderfully. So lots of different choices. Again, with CMU block units, you can do stucco coating, you can do stone facades, great for terracing. 
the country manor units or the keystone units have lots of texture already built into them so they give a lot of character right there so it really depends on what you want to accomplish but definitely consider building those retaining walls to give you a little flatter a little better area to create all kinds of wonderful environments well that's all the time we have for today this is doug the two minute gardener saying make sure to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my videos this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks so much for watching.